HCAM TV Sports presents Hopkinton High School Basketball, where tonight the Hillers are in a Division II Central quarter found, uh, final round against the Medfield Warriors. Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Prate, and with Mike Terosian, we are in Medfield, bringing you game one of the tournament for the Hillers and the Warriors. The Hillers come in with a record of 10 wins, 10 losses. They just qualified for the tournament. They are the seventh seed in this, in this uh, bracket, and they are going up against a very tough uh, two seed, Mike, in the Medfield Warriors. Yeah, Medfield uh, looking good, looking big out here. Big, uh, you know, if ever there's home court advantage, they have it tonight. Huge crowd, jam packed. Uh, the energy in this room is, is really strong for both teams. I think it's going to be a great match. The Hillers led by Tom Keene, his 16th season. He has appeared in the tournament 14 of those seasons. On the opposite bench, the coach, Herb Grace, he is in his 25th season at the helm of the Medfield Warriors. The Hillers uh, played Medfield twice because this is a TVL matchup here in the first round of the playoffs. They played the uh, Warriors twice during the season. The first time Hopkinton played these two squads, they lost by 10, and then uh, the second time it was even worse. The Warriors beat the Hillers by 19, but the Hillers seem to have got their act together late in the season, Mike, and they really played a really strong game against the Westwood Wolverines to get into the tournament. Yeah, they, they really gelled, and you know, it, you got to remember too, this is playoff basketball. Everything's different. Now the Hillers seniors trying to extend their season along with the Warriors season uh, uh, seniors rather. And so both these squads uh, looking to get on with the season. They need a win tonight. The winners will advance to play Marlboro on Sunday. And Marlboro came off a victory over the uh, Holliston Panther, uh, sorry, Gr Groton Dunstable. And uh, the number one seed in this division is the very strong Concord Kyle team. And they uh, won their first round game 89-43. And so that's down the road a bit tonight. You have to do the job, you'll have to defend. And one of the bugaboos for Hopkinton Mike has been free throw shooting for the Hillers. Well, let's uh, bring it down to the uh, public address announcer and we'll get uh, the introductions. take over and do the play. Your starters. Okay, okay, here come the starters for the Hillers. Connor Zarapusco starts. Uh, one of the guards, uh, forwards I should say, and then there's Jack Vicari. And Cooper Corby, another senior. And Jimmy Adams also gets the call. And Nick Canal rounds things off in the starting five for the Hillers. The Warriors will be introduced momentarily. They did a nice little thing there, Mike. They introduced all the players for both squads, uh, for both the starters and the uh, bench players. And 
here's the starting unit now for the Warriors. Evan Howells, one of the captains of the squad. And Matt Johnson, the six foot three senior. Chris McGrory, who comes in at six foot five, the junior. John Williams, their captain, he was named TVL Player of the Year. And the final player, Jack Maddy, who's another captain of the squad. Referees stepping on to the court now, and we will have the national anthem. Right, the national anthem here at Medfield High School as we get set for game between the Hillers and the Medfield Warriors. Mike Prate with Mike Terosian. And we are about to start a Division II Central quarter, quarter uh, final round between the Warriors and uh, the Warrior Faithful. And, Loudly portraying what is a hiller. Yeah, I think we're going to hear that a lot tonight. It is a really packed gym. The confines are tight, unlike the home court for the hillers with its wide open spaces. And here we go as we get set to start the game. Three referees tonight. Canal jumps up and the hillers get it. Right up court is Zarapusco and he makes a layup. The hillers lead 2 0. Nothing like a tip that goes right into the hands. The Hillers are in a zone. And here's Howells. Howells throws it over to the Matt Johnson. Johnson now to Williams. Back to Matt Johnson. Takes a shot. Misses. Rebounded by Corby. Corby pushes the ball up court. Now he goes towards the middle. He looks to drive it and comes back out. He's wide open. Now he goes inside the canal on the baseline. Pump fakes. Puts it up off glass and hits. The Hillers lead 4-0. One of the things, if they can get uh, pressure inside, Hopkinton is tough in, down in the block. The Canal had 25 points against the Wolverines to get the Hillers into the tournament. Williams, double team, now he drives to the paint, now goes outside for a three ball by Howells, and he hits it. Evan Howells, the senior. Check that, yeah, he's a senior guard. Here's a three ball by is there a Vicari? He misses, but it gets back to the hills. Now Corby drives. Now he goes to Canal. He drives, puts it up off glass, but he's fouled. And there's the first foul of the contest tonight. Hillers leading 4-3. As we've just started quarter number one. And the foul is on number 35, Jack Maddy, the senior big man. And now Canal will go to the free throw line and shoot. He misses the first. Medfield beat the Hillers by 19. 
And he misses the second. I and mean, the Hillers get it. Zarapusco. Right inside the canal. Drives the baseline. Puts it up off glass. No good. Tips it up. No good. It's still loose. He has it. Canal pump fakes. Goes up. Puts up the shot off glass and makes it. Hillers lead by three. Six three is the score. There it goes to McCrory. McCrory for a three ball to Howells. He misses. Rebounded by Canal. And Canal looks pumped here. Up court it goes to Corby. Down low to baseline. Now to back to Canal. He drives. Puts it up off glass. No good. Tip still loose. And it's still on the floor. And now it comes away with it is Howells. Howells now puts the brakes on. Slows things down and calls a play. It goes to Johnson. Matt Johnson. A senior. Six foot three. Now back to Howells. Evan Howells. One of the captains, inside it goes. It's uh, McCrory down on the baseline. Oh, and a block, but a foul also as Vakari came over to meet his man on the baseline. And to the free throw line will be Jack Matty. And the senior six foot five forward. His Warrior team had a great season. They were 17 and three and 15 and two in the TVL. They ended up winning the TVL, in part the fact that they won. Also, though, that the Hillers beat the Wolverines. The foul was on Bakari, his first. It's the first team foul for Hopkinton. Maddie missed the first, and he drops in the second. And there's Sarapusco. Sarapusco loses the, well, lost the handle, I guess. It was out of bounds. I think it was trying to hit Bakari. Matt Johnson will inbound. Play being called from the bench by the coach Herb Grace. On the baseline it goes, cross court. To Howes on the sideline now. Here's Williams trying to get on track. He has the ball, he's double teamed. And now Williams pump fakes drives, now goes to the sideline. There's 10 seconds on the shot clock for the Warriors. Here's Williams, good defense by Hopkins. They are double teaming Williams, and it's thrown to the paint. A foul, oh, nice bailout play by Johnson. Good defense by the Hillers, you can't blame them there. And the score is tied, six all. A Warrior crowd chanting defense here. Garapusco looking to set up. Odell is in the ball game for Hopkinton. And Odell, the junior, has a drive by Corby. Pump fakes, puts it up, in and out, and it's rebounded by Williams. As I said in the open, John Williams was the TVL player of the year. He wears number 14 for the Warriors. And here's inside. Now the drive towards the bucket by McCrory. Puts it up off glass and hits. The Warriors lead 8-6. 4.20 to go first quarter. Hillers bark out a play. To Sarapusco, he's open for three. Rims long, but hits the top of the stanchion off the, you know, the backboard is held, and so that's an out of bounds play, and the Warriors will inbound, but in, into the ball game comes Jimmy Adams. And the Warriors almost got caught there, Matt Johnson. Looking to drive, Zarapusco's got him. Now Matty, Matty looking to drive. He's at the foul line jumper, and it rims no good, but it's rebound, it's loose. Williams now, he drives, and they're gonna call a foul on Jimmy Adams on a reach in. The, the object looks like for the Hill is they're not going to let anybody try to get into the paint, so they double team there. There's a foul line jumper is good by Maddie. Maddie's a good shooter also. That's the whole Warrior team. If you're 17 and three, I would say the team shoots pretty well. Warriors averaging 60 points a game. And Corby fakes now outside to Adams. Back to Corby. Pump fakes. And there's 10 seconds on the shot clock now. And Corby drives, looking to free. Now it goes to the baseline to Canal. Canal puts a reverse into the basket. Nice play. And here's trail by two. 10-8 to score. 
Johnson has to drive by Johnson, pulls it back. Now foul line jumper is no good. Rebounded by Canal. He got over everybody. Corby now looking to race. Now it goes inside, but he gets it taken. Now he drives. Odell goes to Canal. Canal pump fake spins, puts up uh, and puts it in. Boy, Nick Canal is taking it where he left off against the Warriors. Anything inside he's making, and he has tied the score with 10. Here's Williams now looking to drive, and he is going to be held on a hand check by Adams, and that's going to be his second. And the Hills will sub in. Zach Zizitsky will check in. And Zarapusko will come out. Adams does pick up his second foul. It's the third team foul on the Hillers. There's a foul line jumper by Maddie misses and it's a nice rebound by Zizitsky. So he races up court. Now he puts on the brakes a little bit. Goes up top to Canal. He's open for three, goes inside, but it's last touch. As he tried to hit Canal, he posted, but it was just a little bit out of his reach. And so the Warriors will take over. 2.29 to go in the first period. The Hillers and the Warriors tied at 10. Evan Howells, he throws it outside to Williams, who's double teamed, and there's going to be a blocking foul. And boy, I'll tell you, that looked like a pretty good triple team. A couple of subs coming in for Hopkinton now. As Vicari en enters back in now, Nick Stanley checks in. And for the Hillers, that's their fourth team foul. A foul was against Corby, his first. And looking to drive is Johnson. Johnson pulls it back, now goes cross court to Howells. Howells goes inside. He's got McCrory looking to make a move. He goes down, Odell's with him, but a nice mid-level spin shot goes in and gives the Warriors a 12-10 lead. Minute and 55 to go in the first period. On the side it goes to to Zizitsky. Now it goes back up top. Now he gives it to Stanley who drives. Puts on the brakes. Back on top. Zizitsky to Vicari to Odell looking inside the canal. Gets it to him. Canal triple teamed. There is eight seconds on the shot clock. There's a shot. Rims long but it's rebounded by Odell. Puts it up off glass. It's no good. But he is fouled. And the foul will put Odell to the free throw line. The foul goes up against number 11, Matt Johnson, the senior forward. And Austin O'Dell, the six foot six junior, goes to the free throw line. And he makes the first. He hits the line drive free throw. He brings the Hillers to within one. Hopkinton with their 10 and 10 season. Gives the Hiller coach Tom Keen 12 straight winning seasons because we're going to count it as a winning season since they made the tournament. Even though 10 and 10, you might say, is a push. Yeah. <laughs> right. There's a three ball from Williams, and it's way downtown, and he makes it. And now Canal looking to drive, puts it up off glass, no good, gets his own rebound back. It's loose on the floor, though. He dives for it, now he throws it to Odell, but it's taken away by Jake Dubs, who entered the ball game for the Warriors. Oh, what a pretty move. McCrory throws it up. Clock. Here's Williams wide open for three. The left-hander in and out. Rebounded by Stanley. Stanley pushes the ball up court. Now fast-paced action now. He puts on the break. Inside to Odell. Odell spins. Right-handed turnaround jump. The rims in and out. And here comes Williams again between his legs. Looking to drive. He's being guarded by Vicari. Now it's a wide open. Dubs misses. Rebound loose, it comes into the hands of the Warriors and they'll start all over. Williams looks to drive, and that puts on the brakes. He's double teamed, now he takes a left-handed shot, rims long, but it's rebounded by Zazitsky. 22 seconds to go in the quarter. Hillers trail by four, 15-11's our score. Hillers looking to hang on to one. Vicari goes inside, now he goes to Canal, and it's stripped. With five seconds to go. In the drive, and a mid-level jumper goes off glass, no good, but a putback, no good, and quarter number one comes to a close. Hopkinton trails 15-11. They played a pretty good first quarter there, but they will take a break, 
And trail by four. All right, second quarter action is going to start with the Hillers trailing the Warriors 15-11. Mike Prate with Mike Terosian. You're watching HCAM's coverage of Hopkinton High School boys basketball. The girls already have won on this season, and HCAM covered it. And then we also went down to Bourne and watched the Hillers hockey team win their first game 4-0. Again, and uh, they will be playing on Saturday to try to continue their season. The Warriors will inbounds. They do. New player in the ballgame, Jack Fitzgerald, for them now. And another new player, John Lowell's in the game. And a good, good hands. And Hill Vakari comes away with it. He's going to get called for a travel. So it's good tie up, almost a tie up there. Vakari went on the floor. Once he rolled over, Mike, that's, that's how you get travel. the traveling yep. call. He stays still. He might, he might get the uh, possession clock there. That was a nice spin move now. Baseline jumper by Lowell. No good. Rebounded by Canal, but he gets it stripped. Brought the ball down too low. And he had it taken away. So he was in a little bit of a zone now. And here's a drive. Matt Mary. Now mid-level jumper's no good. Rebounded by Vakari. Vakari looks to give it to Corby. Hiller's trying to run the ball here. And they have not withered so far. They're down four. We just started quarter number two. Zarapusco drives. Now back up top to Corby. Corby drives. Now back to Zarapusco for three. Rims long. Rebound goes through the hands of a Warrior. Actually, they're going to say it's the Hillers. It went off the Hillers. Oh, I think they might change it. Yeah, you, I think agree, Mike. I think that definitely went off a warrior as it s skimmed off his body. So it's Hiller ball. <laughs> Hillers have Jimmy Adams, Nick Canal, Jack Vicari, Connor Zarapusco, and Cooper Corby in the ball game now. Adams with the ball. Now back to Corby. Fresh shot clock. And there's a three ball by Zarapusco. Shoots, but it's rebounded by Vakari. On the long rebound. One of the negatives of missing a three for the defensive team sometimes goes into the hands of the opposition. Inside it goes to Canal, and it goes off of his hand as the pass was double tipped once by a Warrior, and then it went off the hands of Canal. The Warriors will take over. 15 11's our score. With 6.42 to go in the first half. We're at Medfield High School. They are the number two seed in the tournament. And the Hillers are the seven seed. Here's a drive and a block by Canal. And then a putback goes in by Maddie. And here's Corby now. Hillers trail by six. There's a hand check there. Now, Zarapusco goes up top to Adams. Adams goes to Vakari. Vakari has it. Back up to Zarapusco, looking to drive. Now he almost has this taken away. Now he goes between his legs. Now he drives, puts it up off glass, and it's no good. It's tipped, and it's taken down and by Lowell. Lowell gives it to Jake Dubbs, the sophomore guard. He's being guarded by Vakari. Now it goes to Fitzgerald. Jack Fitzgerald, a junior. Inside it goes. There's a, tra as a foul on the floor as Corby reached in. And for Cooper, that's going to be his second. It'll be the Hillers' fifth team foul here in the first half. Vakari's going to check out. Canal's going to check out. Odell checks in, and Nick Stanley checks in. Warriors will inbound from underneath their own basket. Looking to get it in, they throw it out top. And here to get is Matt Marie. Marie goes to the side. Fitzgerald looking to drive, but he's defended nicely. Now cross court it goes to Dubs. Dubs to the side now. To Lowell. Back to Dubs. Marie. There's a three ball. And it's hit by Jake Dubs, the sophomore guard. And it's 20 to 11. Hillers trail by nine. There's a jumper by Stanley. He makes it. Just a nice baseline jumper. Got yeah, very fluid. 
And nobody came out to get him, so he's like, I'm open, I'm gonna shoot that. And he had a clean look at the basket and made it. And here's a drive by Marie. Marie goes over to the Warriors, tip it up and in. Boy, that rebound's gotta be half. Maddie got up there, good, he's six foot five. The turnaround jumper is no good, it's loose, and it comes into the hands. And another thrown up shot misses, and this time it's rebounded by Stanley. Here's Zizitsky. Now puts on the brakes. And here's a drive. Stanley puts it up, but he is fouled on the floor. And for the Warriors, that'll be their third team foul. 4.32 to go in the first half. The Hillers trailing by seven. Both the two schools chanting back and forth. And here's Stanley's first free throw, and he makes it. The Warriors will check back in. Chris McCrory and John Williams. It was trailed by six. At one point in that Westwood game, they were down 10 in the third quarter. So they do have some comeback, but this will be a little bit of different test. This Warrior team is really sharp. And here's a drive by Fitzgerald, puts on the brakes. Now here's a three ball by Maddie, rims long, and it's rebounded by O'Dell. He boxes man out at that time and got the rebound. Here's Zarapusco looking to drive. Now he drives, puts on the brakes, puts a pump fake, it's blocked, and it's rebounded into the hands of Maddie. Here's a race as Dubs drives, but he is blocked. But a pushing foul. And as Dubs will check that. This is Jack Fitzgerald. He goes to the free throw line. Hillers trail by five, 20 to 15 is the score. With Fitzgerald, he misses the first. Jack Fitzgerald, a junior, 5'9 guard. And the second free throw is good. The Warriors are gonna sub in now, Evan Howell's back in. Jack Fitzgerald will take a seat. Hillers trail by six. And as Corby falls out the play from the bench. Stanley is open, looking to drive. Puts up a mid-level jumper. It's in and out. Rebounded, taken down by McCrory. McCrory gets up there. He's six foot five. He really didn't jump much, but he had long reach and just the ball snatched it out of the air. Nice move there by Howells. Now he. Throws it inside to McCrory. Turnaround jumper is off glass and good. Nice smooth play. Hillers down seven. Corby calls out a play. Zarapusco to Odell. To Stanley looking to get inside there. Really fronting Canal. Here's a three ball by Stanley. Rims in and out. And it's taken away by Maddie. slow things down as Dubs now calls out a play. Jake Dubs, the sophomore guard. Now it goes to Howells. Back up top to McCrory. Holds over his head. Now he goes inside to Maddie. Maddie spins. He is blocked from behind. Now here's a putback. It's blocked also. And it goes off of the hill. There's two blocks in a row. second on the shot clock because of the putback and that was a mid-level, I mean, inside shot now put off the glass is good. The Hill's got a rebound better. McCrory just reached over and took the ball away from people. Here's Zarapusco puts on the brakes. Now to Corby. Corby dribbles. Now he slows it down. It is now by 10. Goes off the foot of Corby and it's a backcourt violation. Going to be a timeout, Hopkinton, as they do not want to see this thing get out of hand here in the first half. It's already a 10-point lead, and the Warriors have the ball. The Warriors and Hillers met on February 2nd, and the Warriors beat Hopkinton by 19. The Warriors 
averaging 60.3 points a game. They only give up 52.3 points a game. The Hillers themselves just averaging 52, but they give up 53. But it's not indicative of the way they played down the stretch. I believe they won four in a row to make the tournament. This Warrior team, though, is a good squad, as I mentioned in the beginning of the contest. They have 17 wins and three losses. They lost to Holliston, Westwood, and Norwell. Holliston gave them a little bit of trouble in the last game. Medfield did beat them, but uh, it was a 78-71 game. Holliston had put up some pretty good points this year. They did make the tournament, but they were eliminated in the first round were the Panthers, and they got beat by the number one seed in this division, 89-43. Inside now it goes to McCrory. McCrory holds over his head, now it's back up top. Here's a three ball by Dubs, and he makes it. 13-point lead now for the Warriors. The Hillers have not been able to get their offense on track. And you gotta credit McCrory, he's doing a nice job on the baseline against Canal. Now Canal gets it at the foul line, goes inside to Odell. Odell puts it up and in. Well, you do that, so if they're gonna guard Canal, you get somebody else open. It's a nice pass by Nick. Hillers trail by 11, here's another three. And it's good. And Jake Dubbs turns to the crowd on his way back down court. And he says, what about me? And it goes to Canal. Canal to Odell. Odell drives, puts it up, and he is blocked. And then uh, he makes a muscle sound, a muscle view by Maddie. Yeah, I think they call that beast mode. Well, you See how old I am, Mike? Yeah. Oh, I just heard him say it before. Oh. Up top to Vakari, boy, and he can't handle it. And here's a breakout. And here is McCurry who dunks. The Hills have problems getting the ball in bounds. Vakari puts on the break, now goes to Corby. And a timeout, Hillers. With a minute and 20 to go. Hopkinton down by 16 now. And it's starting to unravel for them. And Hopkinton is having troubles now down low, which is where their offense came alive in the last couple of games. Yeah, you figured but they would be the strongest would be their inside. And but these Warrior teams are good defensive squad. They they have some big fellas themselves. I mean, McCrory is six foot five, Maddie is six foot five, and Matt Johnson is six foot three. All um, starters for this uh, Warrior squad. Now check that. Johnson's not a starter, but and then of course the TVL Player of the Year. He's six foot two. Where Hillers balanced that with. Canal at six foot five, Odell at six six. Saw in the before the ball game, Justin Blanchard was on crutches. He's six foot seven, junior. Of course, Rector, Kyle Rector at six ten. But this Warrior team's a complete team. They they make shots inside. And a five second violation goes against the Hillers. So a turnover. And here's a drive. Howells loses it. Now Canal comes away with throws it up court. He has Adams. Adams is blocked from behind. And there's a little bit of talking going on between John Williams. And John Williams is doing most of the talking. Yeah, referees are going to say a few words. And that's a smart move to calm things down. A minute and seven to go. Canal inbounds it to Odell. Odell to Corby inside the canal. Canal pump fakes, drives, puts it up off glass, and he's fouled. And it's 
So the Hillers trying to knock the lead down to 13. That is a foul win on McCrory, his first. Nice move, move by Canal. And here comes Rector. He comes in for Odell. I think that's Rector. He's wearing 33. He's the tallest guy out there. He usually wears 45. Canal misses the first, and it's rebounded by Williams. Williams puts the ball on the floor. Now he's looking to drive, and he does. Puts a shoulder into Adams. And he's going to get a foul. And for Adams, that'll be his third. The Warriors are in the bonus anyway, but that was a shooting foul. His crowd chance MVP, because he was the MVP of the TVL. Left-handed stroke is good. Fifty-three point eight seconds to go in the first half. And the score now 35-19. Now a full court press. But Fakari tries to break it over, and he's going to get called for travel or carry. Another turnover. And this thing has been a problem now for the last five minutes now. Hopkinton hasn't done much. And the Warriors have. There's Maddie. Gives it back. Spin move by Dubs, and he's going to get called for a travel. 36 seconds to go. And Zarapusco inbounds. Goes cross court to Corby. Corby gets up mid court. Now throws to the side. Fake by Bakari. Goes back up top. Gives Corby for three. And it rims long. And it's taken away by Williams. Williams races up court. Puts his right arm into Zarapusco. Now he pump fakes. And he's going to get bailed out on the foul. As he drives the baseline. And he definitely used his arm to clear himself. But that'll be a one and one situation. Odell and Zaziski are going to check back in. Canal and Vakari are going to take a seat. <laughs> Williams makes the first of a one and one. The Pillars didn't realize right there that it was a one and one. They started going down court, but it was Williams' second free throw. And he makes it. There was trail 37 19. Zizitsky gets it in there. The Warriors are pressing full court. Corby fakes. Now he gets over. And there's 10 seconds to go. Zizitsky. He drives. He is blocked. And a heave from long court was off the backboard. And the half comes to a close. Well, Hopkinton will go into the locker room trailing 37-19. And we will be back with second half action in just a moment. All right, we get ready for third quarter action with the Hillers and the Warriors. The Hillers find themselves trailing by 18. And they came out of the locker room in pretty good shape. And then the Warriors went on a pretty nice run there in the, starting in the middle of the second quarter. The Hillers will get the ball. Now Canal gets a turnaround jump on the baseline. Good defense by McCrory. Puts it back up top. Uh, actually throws it into the hands of Williams. Williams looking to drive. Now he does. Drives the baseline. He swings it out top. He gives it to Johnson. Now Johnson back to Williams. Williams takes a long three. It rims long. And it comes into the hands of Canal. He tipped it to himself. Corby looks to push. Now here's Sierra Pusco goes through his hands, but he goes back to Corby up top of the circle. Now Adams. Corby over to Sierra Pusco, and inside it goes to Odell. He's, he, he throws up a shot. It rims in and out. 
A pretty good shot there, but good defense by Jack Maddy. One of the star players for this Warrior team are seniors. Inside it goes to Maddie. Maddie pump fakes. Now he goes back. It goes to uh, McCrory. McCrory puts it up off glass. No good. And it's rebounded by the Hillers. Here's Jimmy Adams. He raises. Puts up a right hand off glass. No good. Goes through the hands of a couple of Hillers. And saved by Canal to Corby. And it goes to Odell. And there's a reach over by Maddie. As he went through his man. He doesn't believe it, but he went over the left shoulder of Odell and it's his second personal. He was trailing by 18. He need to cut some of this deficit down to give themselves a chance. Sarah Pusco goes inside to Odell. I don't think he was expecting it. He went behind him. Here's a drive by Howells. He pulls it back. Now inside it goes to McCrory. Turnaround jumper off glass, no good. Rebounded by Zarapusco. So the Warriors have missed a couple of shots. And those need to capitalize. There's going to be a turnover. Yeah. And by Zarapusco, he carried the ball. And there's Williams. And inside, and tried to hit McCrory coming down the sideline, but he overthrew it. Herb Grace is yelling at his player, Maddie, but uh, coach, you're up by 18 here. No such thing, I guess, as perfection, Mike, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> all right, Sarah Pusco goes inside the Cornell. Can Canal, he's double teamed. And somehow they got a free Canal up. As he's being double teamed. And Odell. Inside the canal, good pass. Now Odette, canal puts it up, and, and as the player went down, McCrory went down on the ground. Williams tries to go baseline. Now he tries to throw it inside, and it's taken away by Canal. He gives it to Corby. Corby pulls on the brakes. Now up top, Zarapusco inside to Odell. He's open. He is blocked, but fouled. And that'll be the foul on Maddie, Jack Maddie, the senior. Six foot five forward. And for Maddie, that's his third. And so I would believe the Warriors are going to go to bench. And actually, they're going to call a timeout. They don't like how this has happened. The start of this uh, third quarter, the score has stayed the same 37 19. Um, they call a timeout. The winner of this game. Going to play on Sunday at WPI. They will be playing Marlboro. It was a winner in their first round game against Groton Dunstable. This is a seven seed versus a two seed. And there's, as everybody who's watching this probably knows, they got into the tournament with a Thrilling 63 61 win. And Mike, you and I have been covering a lot of Hiller sports. I have already ranked as the number one sports event I've ever covered for Hopkinton. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of with you there. And I've seen plenty of football, I've seen plenty of comebacks. But wow, that was a game. I mean, I did a state championship field hockey game, you did state championship volleyball, volleyball games. Yeah. But you know, with so much on the line, First free throw is missed. Actually, what was so strange about that final play, Westwood had the ball, and uh, they took, took a three-pointer that grazed the side of the rim, and that could have ended the season. Would have been all over. We wouldn't be here tonight. For the Hillers. The second free throw by Adele is also missed. And here's a drive now to the basket. Pullback, though, as Howells thought better, and he gave it up to Matt Johnson. Johnson looking to drive, goes inside, but Adele picks it. And now here's Corby. Corby up court. Zizitsky drives. He puts it up off glass and makes it. And Hills, that's actually the first point for either team. And the clock reads 5.15 to go in the third quarter. And here's Howells. He goes to Williams. Williams, the TVL player of the year. Double teamed. Cross court it goes. 
Saved by Johnson. Johnson puts the brakes on. There's nine seconds on the shot clock. Foul line jumper is good. And Matt Johnson is a senior, and he came off the bench for Maddie. And there's an inside play by Odell. He's fouled, and the basket counts. And the foul is going to go against John Williams. And that is his first personal. Odell trying to complete a three-point play, and it rims long, and it's loose, and taken away by McCrory. A couple of missed free throws here in the third quarter, which was a hill of problem. Here's a three ball from way downtown. It hits the top of the backboard and hits the pole. He yells out of play. Adams goes to top the canal. He goes inside to Odell, but it's nicely defended by Williams. Williams looking to drive. He's double teamed. Now he spins away, throws it up. That's no good, but a foul. is the fourth on Jimmy Adams with 4.08 to go. And looks like Rector's gonna check in along with Zarapusco. Williams' first free throw is good. Well, you can see, Mike, why he's the TVL Player of the Year. He does a lot of good things. He's under control. His free throw shooting looks smooth. Yeah, it doesn't look like much excites him. John Williams is six foot two. He's a senior. And then he makes a second. And the coaches in the TVL voted for him. And looks like he's delivering so far. He was down by 18. Inside to Odell, he frees himself, he's open, now he throws to Zarapusco, he drives, pump fakes, loses the handle, goes off his foot, and now it goes out of bounds. It's going to be last touched by the Hillers. Now the Hillers are gonna full court press. And the Warriors break it. Here's Williams wide open for three, rims long. Rebound by Rector. Now he gives it to Zarapusco. Zarapusco pulls it back. Now there's Zizitsky looking to drive, but he goes back up top. Corby calls out a play. Rector comes out. And to Odell. Now it goes to Corby. Pump fakes, puts it up, but last and good. Two for Corby. Cuts the Warrior lead to 16, 41 25, with three minutes and 10 seconds to go in the third quarter. Wild pick, and there's a nice jump shot by Jake Dubbs. Well, there's trail by 18. Sarah Pusco to Zizitsky. Back to Corby. Sarah Pusco looking for somebody. Odell gives it to Corby. And inside to Odell, spins baseline, puts it up off glass, and good. Nice play by Austin. Putting some pressure on in the backcourt, but the Warriors drive to the baseline now, pulled back by Johnson. Up top it goes to Evan Howells. Howells inside, it goes to McCrory. Good hands by Rector. Rector steals it. Now here comes Zizitsky. Zizitsky looking to drive, takes it right to the basket. No good. Rebound by Odell. He puts it up and no good. Two minutes to go in the third. There's a drive, push off as Williams drives. He puts up a floater, left-handed scoop shot that's good. And he had Rector on him and he just snuck it under his arm. I think that was Rector. 
one of the tall fellows for the Hillers there. And the steal. There's a break by Jake Dubbs. He drives to the basket and lays it up and in. It is a 20-point lead and timeout on the court. As the Hillers have to call it. And the Warriors with 1.30 to go in the third quarter are leading Hopkinton by 20, 47-27. Watching HCAM's coverage of Hopkinton High School boys basketball. Central Division two quarterfinal round. 17 and three Medfield Warriors up against the 10 and 10 Hillers. And this is a Packed gym, as Mike pointed out in the beginning. It's so packed, people are standing around along the baseline, and it is extremely warm here. <laughs> yeah, we're way up in the cheap seats, and uh, I don't think it could get you much warm on about one foot off the ceiling here. Well, yesterday we were in a hockey rink. <laughs> it was a lot cooler. A lot cooler. A lot more wide open than this. are pressing and Bakari has entered the game he looks to drive and now he throws it and it's off the hands of a warrior Warriors up by 20 pressing Williams is going to check back in and out of the ball game comes Matt Johnson and to the baseline Nick Stanley drives Pulls up, pulls up a mid-level jump, off gas, no good, rebounds loose, but a foul is going to be called. And it's a reach-in foul against Nick Canal. It is his third personal. There's their full court pressing. Stanley putting pressure on Zizitsky, comes over to try to steal. And Williams loses the handle. It's on the floor. It's still on the floor. It's still loose. And the Hills dive. Bakari skips it ahead to Canal. Uh, referee is calling back court, and that's no chance. No way. Faithful don't like it. The referees are going to get the center court and talk it over. I think the referee got confused there, Mike, on the extra lines there in the middle. But he's not changing his mind, and they're going to give the ball to the Warriors. Well, we'll check the replay, Michael. <laughs> well, the referee, and, uh, one of the referees is trying to coach, calm down Tom Keene. And the referee's got his back towards the play. Now he turns. Well, that was a pretty bad call. And here's a drive down Marie. Now up top, a long three by Howells. Rims long, and it's rebounded by Vicari. He gets shoved, and he's got to get rid of the ball. He throws it across court to, to Zizitsky, who came back to help out. Stanley calls out a play. Zizitsky looking to get it inside. Now he goes back to Stanley. Stanley drives, gets a nice pick. Now back up top to Zizitsky, inside to Canal. He's fouled on a reach-in by Matt Marie. Coach Key not giving up on that. Yeah, I don't think he's talking to the right referee, though. No. <laughs> All right, the foul goes up against Marie, his first. And with 29 seconds to go, Zizitsky takes a three, and it rims long, and it's still loose and Rector tries to save it, it will be Hopkinton ball. And Jack Maddy complains. He thought somebody was over his back. And inside the canal, he wasn't expecting the pass to be there, but now Rector tips it up, but it's rebounded and taken away by Marie. Marie looking to drive, and it gives it up to Howells. There's five seconds to go. Here's a long three by Howells. Rims long, rimmed, and it's loose on the floor, and there's going to be a foul. And I think the 
foul is going to go up against Canal, I think. And if it is, that's his fourth. It is. The foul's against Canal, and so. Three seconds to go is a long side level three, and it's good. And Jake Dubs gives the Warriors a 23 point lead. And, uh, the Hillers go out of the third quarter, trailing 50 to 27. Some of the Hiller faithful leaving. And the Warrior Faithful letting them hear it. <laughs> Leave it to Pete Davinsky. Let them know they're going to the bathroom. Uh-oh. <laughs> and as they get a nice applause. For... All right. Yep. <laughs> well, sometimes it doesn't turn good natured. No. But you know, it really, I got to say, it really looks kind of bad, though, Hiller fans leaving. I know it's a 23 point lead. You're not worried about traffic, are you? This isn't Los Angeles. Yeah, it's only Medfield. You know, you stay and support your squad, I think, but you know, I'm old fashioned. I, I don't get leaving, but. No. Anyway, that's me as a pass that goes off the leg of a hiller. But now, luckily, as everything has gone right for the war Warriors, and I shouldn't say gone right, they're a good squad. Williams drives and puts a layup in. And so the fourth quarter starts with Hopkinton down 52 to 27. And now Odell. And it's really good defense by this Warrior team. Now they on the floor and they take it away. And now it's taken by Vakari. He tries to throw it to Rector, who's pushed. Oh, that looked like an absolute shove by Matt Marie on Rector. Hill has retained possession of the ball. Coach Keene is not happy not getting any of the calls. And we get some more discussion going on here. I don't know what the two referees on one side are talking about. Oh, but they're going to go over here. Whatever is being yelled at. We can't hear it, of course. We're across the court. Probably good that we can't, Mike. <laughs> All right. Well, the Canal trying to inbound. He gets it into Odell. Back to Canal. Canal drives, puts it up off flat. I think he was blocked there. And it's taken away by Williams. Up court it goes. There's three players back. And McCrory was thinking about Duncan, but he was too far underneath the basket. Timeout Hillers. Yeah, that seven, was, seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. That was definitely a spot move for him not to dunk it because he could have uh, got a technical on it for, uh, for, for showboating. And uh, you can't do that because, you know, you could, for a technical, you could miss a game. Yeah. 7 one to go in the Hiller season because a miracle would have to happen here, and I hate to be so dour about it, but it is a 27-point lead for the Warriors. These two teams met. First time they met was in January. The Hillers lost by 10, but then it got worse for them on February 2nd. And... Uh, they lost by 19, and this one is turning to be worse than that. Stay composed, though. That's what the oh. Hiller message has to be. All right, you play the game. Keep, keep working, which the Hiller teams never give up, it seems like to me, anyway. Adams now looking for someone to get open, but the, the Warriors are a really good defensive team. You can say what you want about them. Canal makes a jump shot. Nick Canal has had a fine season, really good season. He was a first team TVL, play, TVL player. He's on his way to Cornell to play football, Mike. Yep. That was a baseline shot and a dunk shot is blocked by Canal. And a tip up, it's no good, but a foul. 
you know, talking about the Warrior defense, Michael, if I haven't seen how well Hopkins' inside game has improved, and just to see how it, they had none tonight against this defense. The defense uh, did their job. Now the bench for this Warrior team is not bad either. They bring in guys that are good. Here's another three ball, no good, but it's rebounded by Maddie. Jack Maddie throws it up top. Evan Howells now back down low. Inside it goes, and there's a block, but also a foul. The yeah, foul was, was called way outside. There was a lot of skid on that one. I heard it up here. And then the foul goes against Zarapusco, his second. And it's a shooting foul. And to the free throw line goes Chris McCrory, the six foot five junior. And he makes the first. Some of the Hiller faithful are still here, the student section. They didn't leave. For some reason, I think it was a very uh, heavy exodus of seniors. And the second free throw is no good, but it's tipped, and the Warriors come away with the rebound. There's a shot and a put back by McCrory. with his own rebound. And the Hillers trail 57-29 with six minutes to go. Here's a steal. And foul by Corby. And he continues the layup. Foul against Corby, his third. And so the Warriors now are going to sub out Maddie. And into the ball game comes number 15, John Lowell, for him. Here's Howells. There's a hold by Corby. That's his fourth. And that'll put the Warriors in the bonus. Well, you get five, Michael, and you can't take them home with you. <laughs> and the Hillers are going to sub in Nick Stanley. This senior class is playing their final game tonight. Sarah Connor Zarapusco, and the Warriors now are changing players. And of course, and the free throw was good by Howells. So the senior class with Connor Zarapusco, Jack Ficari, Nick Canal, and Cooper Corby. And it's their final game of the seat, their careers. And it's a 30-point lead now for the Warriors. Stanley. And a couple of players are coming in now. Here's a drive by Stanley. No good, but a tip up by Canal, who's still working hard. Five minutes and 30 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Hopkinton trailing by 30. McCrory looking to get rid of a good defense by Canal. Puts it up, he blocks it. Now it's loose and it's taken away by Adams. Adams races up court, puts it up off glass, and it goes in. There's a drive by Dubs. Dubs is fouled on his way to the basket out front. Fouls against Stanley, his first into the ball game comes Timmy Tompkins, and out goes Connor Zarapusco. And the killer crowd gives him the cheers, gets hugged by his coach, and the players stand up and congratulate him. His final game of his career. As Tompkins checks in, and Dubs makes the first into the ball game now is Matt Gross. Gross is going to come in for Canal, and Nick Canal had a solid, solid season, Mike. Every night, you know, usually over 10, 12 points, 10 or 12 rebounds. And he is on his way to Cornell to play football for 
Big Red up in Ithaca, New York. Gross tries to go inside to Odell. On the court now is Stanley Adams. Tompkins, here's a long three, that's good, by Steven LaRanger. And Stanley puts on the break. Tompkins now goes inside to Odell. Fakes, puts it up and in. Good feed by Timmy Tompkins. Gave it to Odell in a really good spot and he makes it. Now he's gonna go to the free throw line to try to take a three point play into the ball game now for the Hillers is somebody we don't have a number for. Sorry about that. He's wearing a number two on his shirt. <laughs> it's covering up another number. They brought up a couple of freshmen from the JV, I think, and couldn't get the names. Tompkins races and gets the rebound on the missed free throw. Now it goes outside to Stanley. Four minutes and 20 seconds goes. Stanley drives, pump fakes, back up top. Now to Tompkins, he looks to drive, dishes. Now the drive, put up jumper is no good, rebound. Comes back to, up top to Tompkins. Tompkins now gives it to Stanley. Oh. And it goes off for the Hillers and it'll be Warrior Ball. Another player checks in for the Hillers. We don't have his number, sorry folks, wearing number 12. Hope he doesn't dunk, Mike. Don't know what, to, <laughs> doesn't know what to call him. There's a pull-up jumper by LaRanger. He misses and it's rebounded by one of the number twos. Now a drive. And that's Matt Gross who wears 22. Now wearing number 12, we're not sure. Tompkins. Within the drive, he goes towards the middle, puts up a floater, good off the glass. Timmy Tompkins hits. Matt Johnson, up top it goes to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald drives, puts up a shot, and he floats it in. Well, the Warrior bench looks strong too, Mike. There's a drive by Stanley, he makes it. Nice left-handed. Timeout, Warriors. And Herb Grace called timeout only to make sure he got one of his players. I know he didn't call a timeout, but he wanted to make sure. Max Carger got into the ball game. And it looks like number 21, Kyle Robertson in for the Warriors. comes Fitzgerald, the junior. Puts on the brakes, good defense by Tompkins. Long reach for him. Good hands. Pretty quick, now the drive towards the bucket. Floater off glass and good boy. You know it's going right, Mike, when it's just being thrown up and it goes yep. in. And that was a wild shot. 68-37 to score. And now's a drive, floater is good and a foul. I don't know who. Oh, Kelly. Oh, Brendan Kelly. All right, we got some help there from Hopkins and Faithful. He made the shot, missed a free throw, and dives for his own rebound. All right, so we got a little help now as a layup, it's good. Number 12 is Ben McKenzie. And a steal and another putback. It is 72 to 39. And the Warriors are pressing, or were pressing. And here's a drive by Stanley, turnaround jumper off glass is no good, but he is gonna go to the free throw line as Kyle Robertson picks up the foul. And that is his second. Hiller's Nick Stanley will go for the free throw line. He's a junior. He'll be back. Here comes Rector checking in now. He's going to have to wait a second. And 
And Stanley makes the first. Well, Medfield, Mike, has had a great run here in the winter sports. They are top team with the girls who won before our game. Their boys team is a nice putback. And I believe it was a uh, similar point difference, too, against Medway. Yeah, they beat Medway, and then their hockey team had a solid season in Division II. And now their boys' basketball team has a 30-point lead against the Hillers with two minutes and five seconds to go. <laughs> and Brendan Kelly, who's wearing the black patch over the number. John Roll in the game. Here's Robertson. Now a drive by the Ranger pulls back. Now he goes, gets it back. Good defense. There's a drive, a lit layup is good by Kelly. And so the future of the Hiller is right here on the court now. Yeah, pretty playing good. a tournament game, which you don't usually see. Here's a long three that's rebounded by the Hillers. Inside it goes to Rector, has it go through his hands, but it's taken away by Kelly. Pull up jumper is good. Oh, getting some points in a varsity playoff game. And the baseline drive by Robertson's no good. It's rebounded by Tompkins. Tompkins races up the court. He drives, puts up a right hander, no good. Goes through a couple of Hiller's hands. Now racing the other way is John Lowell. Roll puts on the break, puts it up off glass, and good. One of the things you noted about the Warriors, too, Mike, inside, they are so smooth, even their bench can make, you know, shots that are in close. They're making a lot of easy off glass shots. Yep. And the clock stops with the ball going out of bounds. 35 seconds to go in the Hiller season. Well, they went up against a team that had 17 wins and three losses. And it is shown tonight that middle of the second quarter really did the Hillers in. But a couple of players had nice seasons, and there's a long three that rims long, and it's rebounded by Matt Gross. Gross feeds it inside to Kelly, puts it up fast and good. And that'll do it. So the Warriors are going to move on, and the Hiller season is over. Hopkinton goes down to defeat in the first round game for them this year. The Warriors are going to move on. They're going to play Marlboro. Well, that's going to wrap up HCAM's coverage of Hopkinton High School boys basketball. For Mike Terosian, I'm Mike Prate, where once again the final score is Medfield 74 and the, uh, the Hillers 49. Great season for the seniors. And we want to thank everybody who watched HKM all season long. Once again, the final score, Medfield 74, the Hillers 49. Thanks for watching, everybody.